Well, Alex, you and I are always talking about what we're going to do over the weekend and how we're going to do it safely and what is even open. Um, but I had a chance to go to a place that I'd never been before, and um, I regret not going sooner because I absolutely loved it. This is a little Arizona adventure that I highly recommend that you and your family go on. And if you need to get away and do it by yourself, this is just the place to do it. Or you can also take your dog. Take a look. It is the picture perfect little Arizona adventure. Don't forget your camera because you're going to be surprised by parts of Indonesia, even South America, right here in Southern Arizona. Welcome to the Tucson Botanical Gardens, home to interesting, unique, unusual, and rare plants and flowers from all over the world, but mostly famous for our native plants. So this is the only public barrio garden in the country, um, which shows an, a very typical Mexican-American backyard. but on a whole other level. The Tucson Botanical Garden is a five acre backyard laced with lovely paths leading you to distinctively different pocket gardens, either tucked away around corners or hidden behind charming wrought iron doors. Our gardens are intimately designed, 17, 18 different gardens in kind of a residential style. It gives you that feeling of always being in your own backyard. It's a second home to Michelle Conklin. She's been with the Botanical Gardens for 18 of the 40 years it's been open. She's worked with hundreds of people from horticulturalists to volunteers to help create this beautiful and also educational wonderland. An emphasis on conservation and pollination taught by garden employees and Mother Nature's workers too. The exhibit opened in 2004, and at, at, back in 2004, we opened for, I think it was just a month, and just on weekends, and it just took off. We accept butterflies from all over the world. Beautiful, but incredibly vital. Not so beautiful, but incredibly popular is their corpse. The Tucson Botanical Gardens is also home to the corpse bloom, a flower so elusive it sparks intrigue from almost everywhere. When Rosie the corpse flower bloomed, for example, we had folks from who, who did massive driving trips from the East Coast and people that flew in from B Dubai to see the, the corpse plant. But they weren't the only ones making travel plans. Last year, the Tucson Botanical Garden hopped on a plane. Yes, the entire garden flew across the country after being invited to the nation's capital. Known for its beauty on the national stage now, as well as here at home. But there is one more part of the garden that may make it even more awesome than that. It's horticultural therapy program. For those struggling with physical or emotional health issues, the garden offers hands-on gardening to promote healing and stress relief. So the next time you feel the need to get outside and explore, remember the Tucson Botanical Gardens will take you around the world which is first of all ticket. beautiful piece and second <laughs> of all you. you had me at bring your dog yeah now you have to find out on the website when you can take your dog because there's certain months that you're allowed to and other months that are off, off limits and sometimes you can take them during the day and you can't at night so it gets pretty specific when it comes to taking your pup um but I love that about this show, The Morning Blend, because we always talk about the fun stuff that there is to do in Arizona, specifically in Southern Arizona, most of the time. But the fact that even though you know someplace, you don't realize all the cool stuff that it has to so that horticultural therapy, the online classes, the incredible holiday displays they have each year, the luminarias, they say it may be even more special this year because they're putting in a little extra effort because we've been home so much. And then also the fact that there's so many marriage proposals there which makes sense so you've got to check it out and if you take henry i think if you become a member he gets a little honorary tag which is why oh i God. would join just because of that i would too i love that idea oh my gosh <laughs> yeah. Who knew there was so much to it i love that. i know and then the butterfly garden and you can see the chrysalis and if one gets loose they have to like alert authorities all over the world anyway wow. you've got to check it out it's cool do. it's really cool